What's up guys, Scott Martin here, Scott Martin Challenge. Want to give you a really cool tip. You know, I've been running Garmin Electronics for many, many years now, and they have some really cool technology. You've heard me talk about the panoptics and all the side view and down view stuff, but they have a feature on the new units now that's really cool. You know, we all have little lakes and little ponds around where we live that we like to fish, and, and right here, I'm right outside of Clewis, and in about a 40, 50 acre lake, and there's no map for this lake. They don't, they don't sell a map for this particular body of water. And I wanna figure out what's out in this lake. I wanna see as they dug this lake out where the ridges are, where the high spots are. And I'm gonna use my Garmin Electronics and the new mapping software. I'm gonna show you how this works. It's really cool to basically idle around this lake and we're gonna map this entire lake out. And what that's gonna allow me to do is understand where the offshore structure is. It's real easy to go around the bank and cast to the stuff you see, but the stuff that's out in the lake sometimes is the best fishing in the entire lake. So this new brand new Garmin software is the real deal, and let me show how it works. So we're gonna start mapping this lake. There's a couple things you wanna do before you start doing it. You know, it, you're gonna draw a lot of tracks all over your map here, drawing this lake out. And I don't wanna have a lot of tracks once I start fishing. I don't want all these mowing tracks all over my screen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna save the active tracks. I'm gonna go to chart and I'm gonna go to menu and I'm gonna go to tracks. I'm gonna go to save tracks or active tracks and I'm gonna save my active track. That's gonna save all the tracks that I have maybe from yesterday or last week or last tournament, whatever it may be. It's gonna save that active track in there. So I'm gonna hit save. Okay, now I'm gonna go in and hit new track and start a new active track, and that's just gonna be for today. Okay, there we go, right there. So now, all the lines that I'm gonna draw on my screen, those tracks are only for today, it's only this track. And then when I'm done surveying this lake, I'm gonna clear that track out, so now I've got a good clean map of the lake. So, let's get started. The brand new software allows you to do this. This is a Garmin 7612, it's a unit that I use uh, for all my tournament fishing. And uh, the neat thing about this feature here is that you can map not only this lake, but you can also map parts of lakes that might not have mapping, like the back of creeks and different things like that. So it's real easy to do. Basically, you're gonna hit, go to your chart. This is your chart, as there's no lake here. And I'm gonna hit menu and quick draw contours. I'm gonna hit that button there. I'm gonna go into my settings. Survey coloring is on. Depth shading is on as well and I'm gonna back up and I'm gonna hit start recording. All right, so I've got that set up. I've got my depth shading on and I'm just gonna idle across this lake back and forth and about 30, 40 foot apart. It's about a 30 acre lake. It shouldn't take me more than about 30 minutes or so to idle across this thing. And as I idle, it's, it's, so, it's doing a side view and down view and it's capturing that data and putting it right here on my, on my Garmin, which is awesome. And again, what's so important about that it's gonna allow me to really understand where those subtle little drop-offs are out here in this lake. So basically just, I'm gonna go all the way across it, I'm gonna turn around and move over just slightly and do it again. And uh, here in a short little bit, you're gonna see how this is gonna draw a beautiful map of this lake. So I've made my first initial pass, I'm basically turning around, I'm going right back up, and I've moved the boat over slightly. And uh, the neat thing is you can just read your tracks here, you can see the track that I made, and I'm just gonna move over slightly. There's also, uh, a sonar ring that goes around. It's about uh, a good 30 feet on each side. And I'm gonna just go on up through here and do this several times back and forth across this lake. It's already drawn some pretty cool stuff. You know, another good tip, when you're doing a mapping like this, I have multiple units here, which is good. So I'm gonna have my right unit on my mapping where I'm drawing the contours. And I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna put my side view on. And what that's gonna allow me to do is see any type of rock piles, anything out here and I can actually save a waypoint on those real subtle little things. As I'm drawing the map, I'm also saving some interesting things like a log, a rock pile, a creek channel, whatever it may be, a sunken boat, I can save it here on the side view. Like this is a neat little spot right here. It's a high spot and it's got a bunch of grass on top of it. So all I have to do there is touch that, hit new waypoint and back out. Really cool. So now as I'm surveying the lake, I'm also saving those really cool looking places out here, you know, underwater.
Well, we've just finished mapping this lake, and this thing looks really, really cool. Uh, check this thing out. This thing is awesome looking. Lots of ridges, lots of contours, all kind of things that I had no idea were in this lake. And what's really cool is I can take my boat now and I can go fish a lot of these places. It's going to draw one foot contours, high definition chart. I can go out here on some of these ridges, some of these high spots, and I'm able to find a nice school of bass. Uh, so that's really, really neat. It's, it's, a, it's a feature that, that I use a lot. I use it a lot no matter where I am because it allows me to really fine tune my map and it's a really cool system. Check some of this stuff out. You've got all this high spot right here. It goes around the, around the edge of the lake offshore. Got a high spot out here. Got a nice little point sticking off the land on that side. Tons of really neat things right in here. And uh, now what I'm gonna do here, you see that I have all the tracks saved on my unit. Now I'm gonna go in and erase all that so I have a good, clean, clear map. And how I'm gonna do that is, I'm gonna go to menu, I'm gonna go to tracks, I'm gonna go to active track, and I'm gonna clear active track. Look at that. Now, beautiful, beautiful map, look at that. Really cool looking system. And again, this lake's not real big, but you can see all the neat little contours out here. This nice little ridge that runs all the way around the lake offshore. It's like five, six feet deep on top, three feet deep on top, drops in. Got a little gap right in here. That's a good little spot. Got a little point right up in here. And uh, I dropped a couple waypoints of some things that I saw out there as well. Again, what's really neat about this Garmin software is it allows you to draw high definition maps whenever you would like. So for more information, be sure to check them out online at Garmin.com. And uh, these units are on point. We'll see you guys. I love these live targets. They're just so realistic. I love how they start with a, with a, a clear base. And then they've got this bait ball right here. Um,